I'm adding attorney and child advocate Areva Martin. I've asked her to join us to give this family some legal guidelines uh, to what they may be able to do, what the limits are, what the avenues might be in this. Yeah. Let me tell you this about the law. Dr. Phil already talked about the statute of limitations and the probability of you being able to sue the county slim to none. So I don't advise that you go out and spend a lot of money trying to do that, but it's your right if you choose to. But even if you're right, and even if some judge says the county screwed you, the issue about the best interest of the child, undoing an adoption like this is so difficult and almost unheard of. I don't expect that. Could it go to please okay, so now let me tell you this. You can't win with the adoptive mother. You've got to make her your friend. You've got to get... I tried. But you can't say I tried and because she didn't respond, now I get to trash her. And that's what Dr. Phil is saying. You've got to be patient with this. This may take... I waited five years. That is patience. I know. I'm just trying to help you. Calm down. You don't have the law on your side. The adoptive parent doesn't have a legal obligation to even let you see the child. You may have to wait until she's 18, as painful as that is. You've got to provide some leadership here. I, yeah. I mean, you're calling her a fraud. You're, she is you're... a fraud. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. You're right. No, I'm, so, I'm You're sorry. right. She, you're right. And you guys, you want to be right, and you can be right. I'm sorry. But you, you either want to be right or you want to be happy. The one person in the world. <laughs> There's one person in the world that can put that little hand in yours, and you want to piss her off. No, of course no, not. No, I don't, and I'm sorry. Then, and, <laughs> and, and y'all keep sniping. I, it's, I mean, maybe it's justified, but it doesn't get you what you want.